Okay folks, so as many of you may know, I posted that I had a video game developer reach out to me wanting to send me two copies of a particular game that they uh, just published. And uh, one is for me to open and review, the other is for a giveaway, and that is this package. So let's go ahead and dive on in and take a look at what was sent. So what we have is Horizon Chase Turbo Special Edition from PM Studios. Very, very awesome. So be on the lookout for more details coming soon. Okay, folks, on to the next. Okay folks, got a package in today and I have gone ahead and cut the side on it just to make it easier for filming purposes. Um, this comes to me from Mr. Robert. Him and I did a trade on Reambean's Discord server. Uh, if y'all are not a part of that server, go to his channel. I'm sure, pretty sure he's got it linked in almost every video. Uh, but check out the link and check out the server. It's, it's really, really a very cool place to talk to other collectors, uh, find some other stuff that you may be looking for. Um, there's an in search of section, there's a buy sell trade section, there's sections in that server for everything. But I found uh, this guy that was wanting some of my NES games. Yes, much like Rain Bean, I am purging my NES collection, getting rid of all the filler, getting rid of all the just the bad games, the games I have no nostalgia for at all. Keeping the NES library pretty much, um, you know, all quality as far as what I prefer to play. I know a few weeks back, several weeks back, I did a video stating that I was wanting to go, go for the full NES set. I just don't ever see that happening. Um, not ever. And so I made my collection uh, goals a little bit more realistic. And so... I took down a ton of NES games off my shelf and took a picture of them, threw them up on the Discord, said, hey, for trade, and here's what I'm looking for. So I got in the first trade today. So I traded three NES games. Um, I traded in De uh, Robo Demons, Galactic Crusader, and Captain Comic on the NES for these three games. These three games I did not have for my collection. Let's see if we can get in here. There we go. Alright. Two N64 games. First one is Mickey Speedway USA. And the last cruising game I needed, which was Cruisin' Exotica. Very, very happy to add both of those to the collection. And. A complete copy of Call of Cthulhu. I've never seen this in the wild. I don't come across a lot of original Xbox games in the wild, but definitely not this title. So very happy, very happy to have that. And uh, Mr. Robert, thank you so much again for the trade. And I hope you are happy on your end as well. And folks, on to the next.
Okay, YouTube, we've got another week of pickups and everything on this side that is laid out is stuff going into my collection. Everything over here is stuff that is listed and for sale. Mega Man 2 in the back is a duplicate for me. However, I am wanting to trade this really nice clean copy for a copy of Mega Man 3. I have yet to find any other Mega Man in the wild other than Mega Man 2. So if anyone has a copy of Mega Man 3 and they need a copy of Mega Man 2, well let me know. We can make the, you know, we can work out that trade. So we'll start in the back. I'm adding Super Smash Brothers Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE, Minecraft, and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Wii U. I have come across Tornado Outbreak one other time in the wild. It was a disc-only 360 version, I believe, and it was in a generic case at the pawn shop. However, I wanted to hold off and wait to, to add that to my collection until I could find it complete. This is rather difficult to find. Uh, this is only the second time I have ever come across it, and uh, it is a Konami title. I believe that's going to be one that you're going to want to look out for in the future. The value of that, that game right there might go up. Found Home Sweet Home, which is a survival horror game set in Thailand. Um, looks really, really interesting. I'm all for survival horror and found this at the pawn shop for $8. That's a day one buy right there. Horizon Chase Turbo Special Edition. This was... The game uh, sent to me from PM Studios to review and one to give away. So one's going into my collection and then I will be doing um, a review and giveaway video coming soon. Call of Cthulhu was a part of a trade and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. I already had a copy, however the copy that I found this week was complete and in much better condition. So I upgraded my copy and... I have my spare uh, original copy for sale. Ghostbusters Gremlins 2, 1942, Gradius, Tom and Jerry, Mickey Speedway USA, and Cruise and Exotica all going into the collection. I did downgrade my NES collection a lot. I've got a lot listed on eBay. I have a huge stack sitting in my kitchen uh, ready to go out on a trade. And uh, I'm just getting rid of all the filler. I'm keeping nostalgic pieces and um, pieces that are actually good. Games that are actually fun. Then we've got the DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, Zombie, a film by Lucia Ful Fulci. I have no clue how to pronounce that. However, this has belongs in every horror film collection. And the back of it just, it looks gruesome. And I love bloody, gory horror movies. I've never seen this, so I picked it up. Uh, I've got several three, uh, 3D Blu-rays. I'm trying to pick up as many 3D Blu-rays as possible uh, because I have the PSVR, and you can watch these movies in 3D through the VR, which is awesome. So picked up I Frankenstein 3D, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in 3D, Jurassic Park, one of my all-time favorite movies in 3D. And then we got Independence Day. Um, I'm not sure if I have this one. If I don't, uh, if I do, it's going to be on, on DVD, so that's an upgrade right there. Need for Speed, an excellent video game made to movie. Uh, pick that up on Blu-ray. Thor Ragnarok was a Marvel movie I did not have. And I'm going after the full Harry Potter set on Blu-ray. And I believe this is the third one that I have. So found that for a good price. All right. Now this is the for sale collection. Harry Potter was actually given to me today free at the, uh, at the pawn shop when I purchased a few um, other games and, and a movie. And uh, they said that uh, they were no longer able to take in GameCube games, and someone just let this there and said, here, y'all can have it. So they gave it to me. So, But I have no interest in it. Um, Crocodile Dundee, the two-movie collection on Blu-ray, uh, is out of print, and it goes for all day $20. Um, so if you ever find this, this is an easy flip. Uh, I picked it up for a couple of bucks, and I've got it listed um, 
for 20 bucks on, on eBay. Death Note. This is Shonen Jump Death Note. Uh, the complete series. The NTSC version. And I've got this listed for $15.99 plus shipping. Cujo is out of print. However, uh, a 25th anniversary edition Blu-ray was released. And both of the prices on... Uh, the original Artisan release and the Blu-ray are going down. I Spit on Your Grave Millennium Edition. The original is out of print and any edition that you can find is a good flip. Uh, the Millennium Edition sells for anywhere between $15 to $20. I believe I have mine listed for $16.99 plus shipping. Could be $15.99. Dracula's Curse is a duplicate for me. I've got that listed. And then all of these NES games I have listed as well on eBay. Robocop, 720, Marble Madness, Track and Field 2, and Batman. Batman is a duplicate for me, so it was not uh, sad to see that go. Okay, folks, if you see this game in the wild for cheap, pick it up. This game um, is pretty uncommon and sells for $30 or more all day. So I found mine uh, in that NES bundle as well as that um, Death Note and I got all of it for $40 and I can turn around and sell this for $30 as well as uh, the Dracula's Curse. That's a $25 to $30 game there. I mean, this is money all day. Be on the lookout for Brunswick Pro Bowling on the PS4. Uh, the Mario Golf that I found at the pawn shop uh, had a much better label, so I upgraded my condition, and this is the one that I had in my collection. As you can see, the label is pretty bad, and um, so I've got this one listed on eBay. Mario Kart 8 was a duplicate for me, got that listed. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I found this at uh, Goodwill for $1.99, and... Uh, this is still factory sealed. However, it does have a little tear right there on the top corner. But if someone was just looking to buy this brand new and open it and play it, this is, uh, I've got this listed the cheapest on eBay as, as of right now. And, uh, so that's a nice little flip there. Um, also at the Goodwill that day, I found, uh, two more items that I'm going to show you real quick. Okay, here are the items. And I picked up this... Um, Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame induct induction banquet from uh, July 18th, 2009. These glasses can only be obtained at the induction banquet uh, for the Hall of Fame. And this year was Antonio Freeman and Dorsey Levins. If you look up sold listings for uh, Hall of Fame uh, induction banquet glasses, some of these can sell upwards of $50. And because this one is pretty new, it's 2009, it's not a vintage glass such as the 70s or 80s. The 70s and 80s versions are getting upwards of 50 bucks. I feel like I could get at least $20, $25 out of that. Easy. Um, I have not listed this yet on eBay. I washed it and I set it aside to let it air dry. Um, but yeah, $20 $25. I paid $0.69 cents for this at Goodwill. Then the other one is a coffee cup. I paid $0.29 cents for this black coffee cup. However, it is Starbucks branded. And it's in very good condition. I washed this, let it set out to air dry, and... The last black coffee cup exactly like this one to sell was $12.99 plus shipping. So $0.29 cents into $12.99 plus shipping on top of that, that is a very, very good ROI um, on eBay. So two more little items there for easy flips. I feel like they will be easy. Here was the uh, copy of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses that I've got listed. Two Madden 17s. Two copies of Madden 17. This is the last Madden on PS3. These are going for easily $15 to $20 all day. So I picked up two copies of those, of that game. I uh, found the Simpsons game for 
and uh, that's an easy $15 to $20 game as well. The Sims 4 used to be a little bit higher. You could get anywhere between $25 to $30. It's now gone down in price a little bit, so it's around the $20 to $25 mark. Um, I've got that listed on eBay, and then I kind of screwed the pooch on this one. I looked up Life is Strange, and it said limited edition was $40 something dollars. However, I wasn't thinking that, of course, the limited edition is going to come with extra goodies. And um, this one doesn't have the extra goodies. So I'm just going to sell it as a, as a regular copy and um, try to get my money back out of that one. But there you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon while you're at it. When you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.